Come and get it. You know she said she yeah, can yeah. do it. Mmm, I like that. Hi Glow Getters, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, today's video is my skincare routine, which is actually inspired by the 10 step Korean skincare routine. But I don't do all of the steps every day and some of them I kind of combine. So these are the products that I use and if you're interested to see exactly how I combine them and layer them then continue watching all right and don't forget to subscribe and also tap on that notification button. Let's begin in the evening. I start off with some oil. Usually I use castor oil because of all of those benefits. I actually have oily skin and it scared me to think of putting more oil on my face but it has been such a game changer. I usually use mascara and eyeliner so with the oil it just slides off so much easier and I feel like it's so much more gentle but as you saw with the benefits there's so much more that castor oil can do and oil cleansing in itself can do so once I've done that and uh, I feel like I've sufficiently removed all of the dirt I just go in with wet wipes and then begin step two which is using an actual water-based cleanser I use this one and it has SA in it, salicylic acid. That's like my MVP of ingredients. One minute and that's starting now. So I start a timer for at least 60 seconds to allow everything to just, you know, actually work on my face, the salicylic acid to get in. It's a chemical exfoliant and so it just needs some time to actually penetrate into the dermis. And then I go in with my little brush. I focus on my cheeks and forehead and my no actually it's my whole face basically my whole face is oily so I just scrub my whole face with the with the brush I don't have the battery powered one anymore now this is a physical exfoliant and after using the chemical exfoliator um, I then go in with this and just again focus on all of those areas where I usually get very oily and boo <laughs> Ah, don't mind me. I don't know what I do. I just felt like a ghost. So anyway, but look at that glow. Like once I'm done exfoliating, my face just starts to really glow. Like I've removed all of the dead skin cells and the new skin is just like boom. Anyway, then next I do my mask. I have oily skin, like I said. So I use either a clay mask or a charcoal mask and I leave it on my face for 20 minutes to dry. I really like this mask from Geo Skincare. Even as it dries, it doesn't leave my face feeling like crisp and like scrunched up. Even though the way I got it is a little bit shady, I walked into Watson's for something completely different and this lady just came up to me and she's like, oh my dear, your face has many oils. Get this one. So even though insulting the customer is not the best way to move, it worked in this case. And yeah, it leaves my face feeling quite smooth and um, really just all the oil has been absorbed. So I dry my face with the wet wipes and next is the toner. Now toner is really, really important. Again, I use this one with salicylic acid. It's my MVP ingredient, salicylic acid. And um, why toner is so important is because it restores the pH of the skin which has been changing throughout the routine because of the different pHs of all of the different um, products and even the water. So with this, after I use the cotton pad, it also helps to remove maybe the mask that I may have left over. I then put a little bit in the palm of my hands and then just sort of press it into my skin so it really absorbs and can really restore the pH of my skin which makes it which makes my skin better able to absorb the rest of my products. Now step five and six I kind of combine because I don't really know the difference between them. So I use this serum, this vitamin C, it also has retinol and vitamin C and retinol together just help each other to stabilize each other because neither of them are very stable by themselves so when they're together then they're stable 
Vitamin C is great. It fights all of these free radicals in your skin. It improves the elasticity, it's brightening, and also it's an acid, so it absorbs easily. Now at this point, you could put on a sheet mask, but since I already used a clay mask, I'm just going to go straight into my eye cream. The eye cream I didn't buy by myself. It was actually a birthday gift and I was low-key kind of salty. Like, what are you saying by giving me eye cream? Are you saying I got bags under my eyes? I got luggage? I look like my eyes ready to take a vacay? You know, but after I discovered this 10-step Korean skincare, I was like, oh, there's a step for eye cream. May as well. So actually, and I've noticed that the bags under my eyes have really improved. I no longer have puffiness or dark circles. At this point, I'll attend to any active breakouts I may have. You may have seen me wincing when I put on the toner. That's because it's stung on an active um, pimple. I use Oxy5, which just means it has 5% benzoyl peroxide. If your acne or pimples are serious, then there's also Oxy10 and I think maybe 15. Those have a higher percentage of the benzoyl peroxide. It just dries out the, the pimple and removes all of the bacteria. Sometimes I feel like my entire face needs it because it's like I have pimples ready to form everywhere. The last step for me in the evening for my skin is moisturizer. I use this retinol moisturizer from Maybox, Marbox, I don't know. The Zimbabwean in me is just tempted to call it Marbox. Anyway, I use it in the evening because it's photosensitive so it can actually disintegrate during the day, like it will just be broken down. Retinol is actually vitamin A, which is anti-aging, it reduces fine lines, wrinkles, so you don't need to use it before the age of 25. Lastly, just for control, I moisturize my lips and I use this Med Repair because it's got all of these extra ingredients, so they just absorb overnight for succulent lips to match the supple skin. Good night. Now my morning skincare routine has fewer steps and also it's gentler. I don't have things like masks or scrubs in it, but I do include my SPF, which is very important. And also, by the way, the mask I only do once or twice a week. So again, we start off with clean hands and we go in with the cleanser. I use the same one, or I might use a very simple one with no active ingredients like salicylic acid. And then again, I go in with the toner press it into my skin. I don't need the cotton pads because I didn't do anything hectic. And then the serums is what I've changed. Now I've got this hyaluronic acid one. Hyaluronic acid is actually a great humectant, which means it can draw in moisture. I think it can hold about 1000 times its weight in water. So I use it whilst my face is still damp. And then next I use this one from The Ordinary. I love it. Niacinamide is apparently the super, super ingredient. Niacinamide is vitamin B3. So it's very important for skin. It does everything. It really just does everything. And after I use it, my face feels mattified. It's not so shiny and oily. And then again, I go in with the eye cream so we don't go about our day with any baggage under our eyes. Just tap that in. Apparently you're supposed to use the ring finger because it's more gentle. Anyway, the moisturizer is also different in the morning. This one has salicylic acid and also it has lactic acid. So lactic acid is an AHA, so that makes you very susceptible to sunburn. So you have to, have to, have to use sunscreen after using this um, moisturizer. So I go in with my Neutrogena. It's got SPF 55. I love it. It says it's breakout free and oil free and it really is. I haven't had any breakouts whilst using this. And the only thing is you really have to like rub it in because it will leave a white cast on your face if you don't. You don't want to go around looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So just rub it in proper. And I know there's this myth that black people don't need sunscreen. No, that's a myth. It's a lie. Skin cancer does not discriminate. It doesn't check if you're black or white, like And I said to you, my brother, it don't matter if you're black or white Be -ne 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 -ne. Okay, you know what, my point is It doesn't matter if you're black or white, you need sunscreen It will help prevent against things like sun damage The wrinkles, the fine lines, all of that, that's caused by the sun So if you apply sunscreen, you can help prevent that damage from the ultraviolet light, okay? And also if you have oily skin like me, all of those pimples, you get dark marks from them because the sun nicely heats it up and then it becomes a dark spot and you get hyperpigmentation and all of that stuff that's just not necessary that could be easily avoided with sunscreen. So 
use it okay my last step is lip balm and it too has spf because like i said the sun don't play anyway i hope you enjoyed the video that's what i do to my face every day it took me a while to find a routine that works so just be patient do your research i highly recommend watching beauty within's videos i'll link them below and also just drink your water and look to god those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed glow grow get it mm, mm, I like that.